These pavers you can see embedded in the road in front of you represent the first lock in a series of 25 extending all the way to Easton, 60 miles away. Locks like this one were used to raise or lower canal boats in the water to match the changing elevation in the surrounding land. This map shows the total change in elevation along the canal, 165 feet over the length of the canal. This lock in particular raised and lowered boats a distance of 7 feet. Nearby can be seen the former location of the lock tender's house, marked by brown pylons. Lock tenders that operated these gates were provided housing nearby, a necessity since boats often operated from 4 a.m. through 10 p.m. during peak operation. Boats warned lock tenders of their approach by blowing through a modified conch shell. Ahead, the canal bend marks a sharp turn in the waterway as it entered the basin. Follow me around the bend and we'll see some of the more recognizable examples of the old locks.